Togaf musing to all of you, how far east can you go before you're actually heading west? <laughs> Welcome back, folks. What is it exactly you want me to do? Lower hand side is a dangerous place. I know Diamond Chan stay at an apartment near a rooftop. Knock him out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. There has to be another way to remove Chan from the picture without resorting to murder. There is. I have access to certain stimulants. If Chan was caught with them, he would no longer be a problem. Meaning I could plant drugs on him? Not on him. Some way in his apartment will be enough. He may be dead though. So knock him out, leave the drug, and come back here to me. I have a friend. He works with the police. I'll contact him and he'll make sure Chan is arrested. Once Chan is gone, what will you do? Won't some other drug lord turned pimp take advantage of your vulnerability? I know someone who recently started his own security company. I will hire them to protect us. It should be more than enough, and I can trust them. Why does his death need to look like a suicide? I've made threats against Chan in the past. Because you helped Ning, if anything happens to Chan now, his harvester friends will think we are responsible. I do not want that to happen. Tell me about Diamond Chan. He's a monster. At first, he forced my girls to take drugs until they be addicted. It made them easy to control and dependent on him. But now, with cheap black market augmentations and customers with augmentation fantasies, it is even worse. The leashing you spoke of earlier. Yes. In order to squeeze more milk from his cows, he butchers them. The augments are just another form of control. The girls can always be tracked, and the needs for neuropathy means they will not run away. I'll do it. Good. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. It is on one of the nearby rooftops. Lower Han Sai is a dangerous place. Simply knock Chan out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. But if you wish only to get Chan arrested, take these drugs. Plant them somewhere in his apartment after you've knocked him out. When you are done, return to me and I will contact my friend in the police. He will do the rest. Anything else I should know? Chan should be alone. He is too proud to have bodyguards around. But be careful. Even alone, Chan is dangerous. Got it. Mr. Jensen. Remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chan that make it look like murder. Any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps, which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. I will wait here. Interesting. But let's do it. Yeah, it looks like we're uh, converging to the same place now. You know, there's an amazing view of the cityscape on the rooftop that's just underneath the tank. Hey, what are you looking for, La Wai? Guns? Hacking equipment? What makes you think? Don't forget, limb clinics are open 24 7. In case you want to buy something that, you know. Freaking overpriced. In the first DE, though, I like maxed out one of my pistols so that it was just friggin' beast of a weapon. 
the stopping power of a tank and a pistol. Alright, where are you at there, Duder? I'll find you. Possibly. The downtown apartments. Hey. Is that down this way for the downtown apartments? Oh. So hoping to get a little traveler experience. What do we got down here? Sorry folks, I get a little ADD when exploring. I know like, oh you're on a quest, oh no, but now I want to explore. Ew! I want to step in that. Anything down here yet? Spirits. There's obviously someone living down here. No! 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 Don't step! Oh God! Ew. Oh god, it's all over my boots now. <laughs> Gross. Wow, I'm in the null zone. The map makers did not update this. Where the hell are my floor up that's Where the hell am I? I want to go back. I'm lost. Alright. We'll explore that more carefully at another time. You seem to be the way that I'm going to get to him. I can do this. I've trained for this my entire life. Ah, do the SARS mask on? Uh, was it too I guess I really didn't need to do that, did I? Alright, never mind kind of seemed a little bit cooler when it was a much harder jump. kind of felt like I was doing a matrix, but then... We'll find her! I don't care what your excuse is! Oh, that's actually not what I wanted to do. I actually did want to kill him. Um, reason for that being, uh, I'm going to go on kind of instincts here and thinking that the guy will end up getting out of jail if he's any type of high-powered drug lord. By the time you get through lawyers and all this other stuff, I think it's best just to finish him. Um. What do you mean, missing? <laughs> Didn't even have a chance.
Hey. Hey. You gonna drag nicely or not? Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot drag him. Come on, go. Go over. Go over. Go. Go over! Oh. Bam! This was it though? This guy ran his world from this little apartment here? He didn't even have a computer or anything? It just seems awfully funny. It's funny, most of the guards and people that we've encountered so far I haven't really seen as evil people. I mean, most of it, you know, they're, they're guards that may not know exactly what they're involved in or something like that, but when you're a kind of a drug peddler like that... Oh god, that could have killed me there. Uh, when you're a drug peddler like that, you, you know what you're doing. You, you sealed your fate. You made your choices in life. And, like, acting as if it were real people making choices in life, but... I think that's kind of what makes these games fun. I don't see Jensen being a guy that's completely opposed to killing. Just tries to avoid it if he can. And uh, especially, you know, you, I would imagine that you have security guards and such where Jensen himself was, in essence, a security guard. But SWAT team member? that, uh, you know, I would see him taken out of Drug Lord. Has Chan been taken care of? He's dead. They'll think it's a suicide, just leave it at that. I'm glad to hear that. Death is not something I wish to treat lightly. But his death does bring me relief. Thank you. Just glad I could help. You saved us, Mr. Jensen. Money does not feel like enough thanks for what you have done. But here's the payment promised. I hope you will be satisfied with it. Not bad. You have saved not just me, Mr. Jensen, but all the girls See, here from a and that's what I find funny, like, The Witcher had no problem approaching what would be the real answer to this. You know, and... I, I would just see it as, you know, I don't see it as, <laughs> tits, tits. But as almost like, you know, almost what you would expect, these are prostitutes. So, what do you think all these prostitutes would offer Jensen if he basically just saved them all? Here's your money, go ahead, go. I will not sleep with you, though. I have morals. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, oh god. I'm sure that would have been like, you know, there's no way we can never repay you with money, so... But unfortunately, I mean... <sighs> This country is just so obsessed. And it's not just America. It's, you know, uh, I mean, America treats it pretty much the worst with sex. Just so nervous about sex and so nervous about potentially 
scarring our youth. But, you know. Anyway, as always, folks, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, folks.